as the Western Suburbs Gold Star Magpies go out for their own grand final. They've got to win two of their last three to have any hope of making the quarterfinals. This is called the survival for the final. Western Suburbs in front of their home crowd. There's their card. Leeds, Willis, Lang, Pearson, McGuinness. That's Kevin McGuinness. Willis Newton, the new boy. Langmack, Kennedy, Dunn, Dooley, Georgialis and Howard. Sears, Dallas, Icon, Caruana, Paul, Butina, Taylor, Moore, Fairley, Florimo. Second row for Florimo again tonight. Pomery into the side. Soden, Larson, Peter Louis, the coach. And Paul McBlain is the referee. He blows time on. And the Magpies, they've got to win this one. They're into it now, running left to right. And a great gap up the middle emphasizes some over enthusiasm from Western Suburbs and young Newton made the tackle on the tear away Soden. Taylor then gets it across for Fairley and Fairley is met by Brandon Pearson and a penalty within kicking distance for Taylor. Well, what a start for the Bears. It just opened up for Mark Soden and he was trying to find Brett Dallas on the right hand wing. And if he'd have done so, it would have been the quickest try I think we've ever seen scored. He just threw a little bit of a dummy, Mark Soden, and everybody expected the ball to go to one of the bigger men. There he, well, he only half threw the dummy, and Billy Dunn swallowed it around Newton, put the step on Andrew Leeds, and Dallas was coming up quickly on the outside. He cut his teeth out here. Product of St. Gregory's. Signed a big contract with the Bears a couple of seasons ago. And he, more than anybody, has a chance of putting the Magpies out of the quarterfinal race. And even Jason Taylor is human. He's missed it. One favour for Western Suburbs, performed by their former number seven. Feels good, the atmosphere here. As Newton starts off the 20 metre line. The breeze bringing it down on the halfway. And the Magpies surge in. Florimo underneath it. That is Pomery. He's in for Trindle. That's the 30 metre line just in front of him. And now they come across for Billy Moore. And Moore is pulled down by the lock forward, Paul Langmack, wearing 13. Long ball away for Taylor. And then for Fairley. Fairley met there by... Billy Dunn in the 11, Andrew Willis playing in the sixth jumper tonight. They do switch them around, that's a good pass. Probably the winger David Hall was standing too flat. Now they go back for the boot of Taylor. And it's high. He's offside, Caruana. Well, there's the penalty, well called, Sterlo. Yeah, Nostrils does it again. He picked him. But uh, no go forward there from North Sydney. They went from side to side, and really uh, nothing doing for them, trying to get West out wide. But you've got to get going forward in the middle first. And if I was a kicker, I'd be really upset with that play from Chris Caruana for the sake of a metre, taking off all the pressure and giving the opposition 15 or 20 metres and an easy run with possession. I stay behind the kicker and just too enthusiastic as the Magpies now. That's their first touch of the football, and Harvey Howard, one of their better players, gets a good ball to Leeds. Leeds with a diagonal run, ending just outside his own 40 metre line. Dooley running into the brick wall, and then the brick wall pushes him back, and he loses the ball. Oh, well, he's got a late call for the handout from the touch judge. Yeah, Andrew Leeds appealed for the penalty, and then the touch judge agreed with Leeds and put the message through to McBlain. Good strong defence in the back rowers. And Florimo pulling it out with the left hand. Done on the fifth. Now, can Newton put it up? There it goes. It's high into the teeth of the breeze. It's a very good kick from the kid. The bounce favours the Magpies. Done, George Alice Lang. Lane gets a pass away, then it's Kennedy, out wide, turned in, and Andrew Willis's kick goes in touch in goal. Exciting play there from the Magpies. Hey, Tried everything to get through the North's defence, but uh, pretty good defensive from the Bears, and we've got a touch judge on for some reason.
Big Norse player being called out. The Kick in the end, just not good enough. But on, the, on this side of the field, we've got a, an injury to it's Kevin McGuinness, the West winger. He really he went down injured with, for no apparent reason. There was no one around him. He looks like he's hurt his back. He put it out in some way. Andrew Leeds. He knows every blade of grass on this park. He's 21 out, nine in, looks okay, and the flags go up. The Magpies get the first points. Taylor restarts as we welcome you back to Monday Night Football. It hits the crossbar, comes back for Fairley, who knocks it on. And Fairley getting frustrated there. <laughs> it was an amazing thing that happened. The ball coming off the, the goalpost from the crossbar. The quick kickoff taken, we caught them unawares. They were heading back off the crossbar, and it looked like an easy pickup for Fairley. But he's dropped it. I know that sides like to kick to the corners because it makes it a little bit tougher for teams to get out of their own danger area. But I think you should kick for the fist all the time and just hope that you get one of those every now and then. Langmack plays it. I like the work of Dooley tonight. Well, he was been strong so far. He was man of the match for Channel 9 two games ago for them. Had a tremendous game. And he's carrying that on. Good ball there to Kennedy. Into the ruck and oh, but that was bad. Everyone, yeah. Early tackle and Damian Kennedy carries the football into touch. You can't do that. Andrew Willis set it up for him, but then he got on the shoulder of David Hall. And he's a strong, he doesn't look very, very strong probably, but David is immensely strong. Great tackle from David Hall as well. He kept his arm wrapped around the football, so there was no chance of Kennedy releasing at all. 2-0, the Magpies. Early days. Sears up in the back line. And he's got him for a high tackle, I fancy. And it'll be Brandon Pearson, is it? Or is it Andrew Leeds? It's Leeds. Well, in fact, he's, I think he's got them both for good measure. 12 minutes gone. 2-0, the Western Suburb side. And it was definitely Pearson. No drama, Leeds. And the breeze gave them some very good uh, meters for the tap to be taken by Stoden. And Nigel Roy is on in 16. Soden to the right for Larson. And this is the first real test here for Western Suburbs. It'll end probably if they get that far off the, the grubbing kick of Taylor. Soden are there in easily. Lolomo scores. How simple. Oh, that's that's ominous. Yeah, but I still think it's the best play in the game, the run around. I, I knock up saying it. And this is why, because it is so simple. The run around, as we freeze play there, we see this Western oh, Suburbs player has gone in. That puts all the pressure on this man. And then the gap opens up and the play continues. The man going around, Soden runs straight in between them and the little offload to Greg Florimo. He's back out in the centres now with Nigel Roy on the field and Caruana off. But when nothing's on, every team call a run around. Bang. But Brandon Pearson makes a mistake of he's just watching Soden. You've got to keep an eye on what's coming at you as well out wide and, and seeing how you've numbered up. And so a mistake they made by the West defence. But the great thing about the run around is that it makes the defence make a decision. And, and every now and then they're going to make the wrong one, as we saw on that occasion. Five tries for the year, 59 in his career for Greg Florimo. Well, that might take the sting right out of the Magpies. They were flying high as Jason Taylor converts the Greg Florimo try. Of Chris Caruana, the interchange with Nigel Roy coming on, it meant a reshuffle in the North Sydney lineup. I think David Hall has moved into the centres. Roy out onto the wing. So the Bears now with David Fairley, 25 metres out from his own line. The taste of that try still in there in their memory. Well, Soden is having a great start to the game. He's been really tearing them apart. 
and Taylor now drives it down inside the 20 meter line it'll find touch will it and Andrew Leeds watches it over the line so a scrum will start us six points to two loose head and feed to the the black and white and Chris Caruana back on for North Sydney slotting back into his starting center position and you would expect North Sydney to be able to play pretty good field position Steve Rates pointed out it's a fairly strong breeze at their back one thing that Western Suburbs need to do is to make sure that they stay in contact. If you can turn at half-time in front or close to the opposition, it is some sort of advantage. One against the feet. Taylor fires it away to Caruana, who's back on, and tackled 10 metres out. Butner looking for a quick play of the ball. Billy Moore is with a Taylor, and Taylor goes down under the tackle of Kennedy. Caruana now is a dummy half and picks off uh, Pomery. Pomery trying to get it over the line. Magpies, four of them, forcing him down. Watch out for Soden from dummy half. Now a penalty. I think he's indicating that none of the Magpies were actually marking up. And Taylor will take a kick at goal from right in front. You don't get him any easier than this. A good strong charge from Pomery. He gained North the penalty with some very strong work, taking four Western Suburbs defenders with him. And this was the big push put on by North Sydney. They screwed the scrum, got one against the feed, a rarity in the modern game. Caruana nearly got through, and Pomery, you can see him. Three players struggling with him, four now. Paul Langmack there not allowing him to play the football, keeping the left arm in there, and that tested the referee's patience too long. Yeah, that penalty would have been for, as Peter said, the marker. Not releasing the man playing the ball. Taylor, straight between the posts. No problems for Taylor. And North Sydney breezing along now. Heavy body contact in that tackle. I don't know whether you heard it on the effects microphone. I think the bear, the Bears player got up and said it didn't hurt. Just a little, he might have said a tongue in cheek. Now Taylor. Gee, that's a good take from Chris Caruana under pressure. I know you can Taylor! Offload. Taylor! Dallas! One of the magpies is hurt. Struggling to get into the line. So did. And away from Caruana for Sears. Didn't get a clean ball away. Butner's off. But the referees called it back. A half a break made there from Matt Sears. Steve George Arles came at him. Just as, as he was looking to pass the football, he knocked it loose and went forward. Some beautiful hands from North Sydney players in this movement, as we saw George Arles coming up with a timely tackle. The take from Caruana from the hard Jason Taylor pass was a beauty. And then Brett Dallas changed direction and one arm brought in the Taylor pass. Looked like he might nearly score. Newton came up with an ankle tap. We still see that Western Suburbs player receiving attention. I think it's one of the back rowers. I think it might be Dooley, is it? A lot of pain. So Pearson tries to beat them down the blind side, but he was um, grossly outnumbered. Ken McGinnis again working down the blind side from the dummy half. 15 is Lakeman. Now Andrew Leeds in from the back. Tries to get something happening. Bill Dunn. Flung down by David Fairley. Howard. Willis. Got a pass inside for Newton. Tackled on the 20 meter line. Willis is passed to Langmack, suspect, he backs up, he'll score! It's a try! Andrew Willis, beautiful stuff! Just worried about his 
Hughes' original pass. Well, they're not worried about it. Good break here. And nice to see when Newton takes this football on the inside that he decides not to pass. First time in the big time, he could have been tempted to come up with the big play, but he went for the play of the ball, and that was the right play. Paul Langmack throwing the dummy, Butner falling for it. The tackle was low from Caruana. One of the North Sydney players tripped over, and Andrew Willis backing up on the inside after setting up the previous attacking raid gets the four pointer. Yeah, nice passage of play here by Willis. He's been in everything. Backs up Langmack on the inside. Jason Taylor, the man coming over and cover, cover that fell over. Magpies back into it. Andrew Willis with the try. And Andrew leads with the conversion. So that brings it back to level. We're back where we started from. Eight points all. Almost half an hour gone at Campbelltown. Bang the Magpies. And, and then North hit them with a bit of class. Langmack, I thought, was in front of the kick out. The number four wasn't. And he chances a pass. Brandon Pearson. And they're going in to touch the Bears. He's given the penalty, has he? This is very, very close, this one. Western Suburbs players maintaining that the momentum of the tackle took Iken into touch. The last two kicks from Newton have been beauties. Iken picks it up. McGinnis coming across, Kennedy there. He's got Kennedy for coming in and pushing after the referee's claim the tackle is completed. Yeah, I tend to agree with the referee, even though the crowd doesn't. The first tackle was sufficient. The second tackler had one aim, and that was to push him over the sideline. Try was on the ground. With the tackler on him, the referee got it right. Halfway line now. The Bears with Taylor working from the left onto the right. Georgialis hits him with a big one. Leeds now coming away from his own line. Scarcely a player on side. Now they get back. That's Darren Willis. Very quick off the mark, Darren. And he's he's so graceful. Lang. It's amazing what scoring points does to your confidence. The momentum turned around now. And I've got to say there aren't enough Steve Roaches playing the game at the moment. It's great to see front rowers who can attract attention two and three at a time and offload and Harvey Howard fits into that category he's doing a great job for the Magpies really does help to have that kind of forward in your pack I oh, turn that one Steve Rach was one too many well that's true too he was tough to run around <laughs> great man a great man well, Justin Dooley looked to be in a lot of pain Steve what's the story yes it's a back problem to Justin Dooley too they, they hope that he can, can come back they're going to give him till half time all right George Arles now working it onto the right of the ground and that is Howard. 25 out from the north line to the right for Kennedy. Oh, swing arm here over the top. Of the Here's a chance. Lost. Here's a chance for the ball. Oh, they, they want to go on with it. Kennedy and Stewart. Stewart got a couple on him. And Mike in the middle of it, waving his arms around like a traffic cop. They'll get the penalty here, the Magpies. And that gives them a chance to go to the lead at half time. They really went in with a high shot. And that's what the referee was penalising originally. Stewart coming in there, the big swinging arm. Didn't look as bad in, in slow motion as what it did at full speed, which most of them don't. But then the Western Suburbs players. They reacted to it, weren't impressed at all. That's a little right going in on Damian Kennedy. And another. Oh. Right across the top. So that was three that he got, all scoring punches. Yeah, the last one was, was a beauty. And you, the other bloke was on his back, holding a football. Ten minutes. Ten minutes in the bin for Josh Stewart. They'll take the shot at goal off the boot of Andrew Leeds. And the black and whites can go to the break with a two-point lead. And Peter Louis will be livid with that performance from Josh Stewart. Yeah, look, I still don't know the actual front-on. Just a good, solid front-on shoulder tackle for mine. His arms were flailing about, I know, but they went nowhere near the bloke. I, I think you're right. It's a good, solid hit. 
Yeah, you think? Mind you, you, you don't necessarily have to attack the head with the arms. But that, that's what he's got him on. He's got him on attacking the head of an opposing player. What you're attacking with has probably got nothing to do with it. But I agree with you. I mean, if that tackle was illegal, we've got a few problems. And what he did after that was not worth uh, was not worth giving away 10 minutes and probably two points. So Josh Stewart has got to think about his discipline. 37 minutes gone. Leeds gets it. No problems for the fullback. The black and whites are in front. Yeah, plenty of fighting spirit. What was he saying, the referee, Steve? Apparently you've got the version on it. Yes, he sent him to the sin bin for going on with it. It wasn't the, the high tackle, that was the penalty, but when he went on with the fight, that's why he sent him to the sin bin. So George Alice. Fairly and Larson muscling him back. Lakeman. I must admit I thought at eight points to two, and given the, the simplicity of the North Sydney try, that the Magpies were in trouble. I made the comment then that they had to be the side to score next. They've done that. Now they've got a bit of wind in their sails. And they're tacking for the quarterfinals. Newton. Sears to come away from the corner. Four is Pearson. 15 slipped and fell. That was Lakeman. He's gone right the halfback, hasn't he? Newton Peter, I, I would think sure Tommy would like to see him open up and run a bit more in the second half, but he's handled things pretty well. Good kicking game. Yeah, I think that'll be the case. I'm, I'm sure that Tommy's instructions when he went out there was just to do the simple things well. First and foremost, get your defence right and your kicking game, and he's done both of those. He's come up with a couple of good tackles that really needed to be. There's it coming over the top there on Fairley. And as the game goes, his confidence will continue to grow. And his involvement will as well. Last tackle on this set. Possibly the last play before half time. And they mix up their kicking game, but Leeds was positioned beautifully. Well, Andrew Leeds has put down 35 out from his own line. Lang will take a dummy half run. A matter of seconds remaining in the first half. Howard. A win tonight. We'll see the Magpies leapfrog Auckland and go into the top eight. Anxious moments for Matt Sears. He gets it back. So this set of six will take the Bears to the half-time break. Michael Butner is it? Right on half-time. And uh, the Gold Star Magpies. They lead by two. Doing a great job. And surprisingly enough, Michael Butner is the second in that, that department. Ten tackles. Just showing that Western Suburbs are going wide on quite a few occasions. And we're on the first tackle of the second half. 40 minutes of football. Western Suburbs in effect with a two-point start. And they've got the breeze behind them, Steve. Has that breeze slackened off at all? He mightn't have the headphones on. I don't think he has. He hasn't had time to get back to his commentary chair. Kennedy. Now Langmack. 40 metres out from his own line. Dunn. Slam down. Steve, I was saying uh, the breeze has it uh, slackened off or increased. What's the story? No, it's uh, exactly the same as the first half, so it'll be to the advantage of Western Suburbs. And there it is. The breeze at their backs. Two points in front. They've got to win tonight to have any hope of making the quarterfinals. As one of the try scorers plays the ball at Florimo. I think I said just going into the break at halftime it was Billy Moore. It was uh, 
Luke Florimo. Taylor. And now Florimo with one of the magpies right in his face. Sears. They've got to be desperate in defence, the magpies. They've got to be there. Scrambling. In numbers. More. The Bears, of course. Certain, you would think, to make the top four. Pass has finished up with Dallas. He's had nothing to work with tonight. Great support from Caruana. Butte now behind Taylor with Larson. Six more tackles. Penalty to the Bears. Well, some amazing passes here to keep this movement alive. Brilliant stuff from the Bears as they went wide. And Dallas nearly got trapped on the last tackle. He wasn't going to kick it. This is an interesting ruling against Western Suburbs. They say that there was an offside involved, I think, from the Magpies. The blood bin was really done. And a chance for Jason Taylor to even things up here at Campbelltown. Let's just have a look here. Running it on the last Butner. Caruana bats it on, does go backwards, so Dallas picks it up. Thought he might have kicked. He tried to beat George Alice on the outside. Good pass back inside to Caruana, who did a great job to, to be there. After throwing, being involved in the initial pass. There was the touch from Langmack. Then Willis makes the tackle. I can't see how he would call an offside on that at all. I think he's ruled that he was offside as a result of the touch. Taylor, straight between the uprights. That's level. We are back to where we started. Ten points all. Third minute of the second half. Since Josh Stewart found his way to the bin at about the 35th minute. Oh, I can't that. believe that. Good pass by Satan. <laughs> I can't believe that, that Dallas wouldn't have called Soden out of it. How did he end up catching it? This is fairly now. The old back pass. Dallas is standing there. He's got the call. All he's got to say is leave it. But obviously they don't talk to each other. No, Soden was calling yours. Oh! oh. And now Mark Soden knocks on. He started the first half in brilliant form, Mark Soden. Uh, there was nothing wrong with what he did in trying to catch the football, but he should have been called out of it. And then the knock on. Now Newton. Way for Willis. Leads into the back line, and that's Pearson. Two man tackle. Roll away, says the referee. McGinnis. 25 out. 10 points all. Five minutes gone, second half. 14 is Capavilla. Now there's a good chance for them. Howard. Georgialis and Willis. Willis goes back. Then they go across. Capavilla. Langmack. Kennedy. Kennedy's 12 metres out from the line. Langmack looks at the blind side. Comes back to the open. Lakeman. Seven metres out. Last tackle. Willis. Ah, oh, beautifully taken by Ben Eichen and Greg Florimo. Makes the run. There's support everywhere. That is Nigel Roy. He's away. He'll score. Nigel Roy scores a 90-metre try of a little kick by the Magpies. He hasn't had a lot of luck tonight, Andrew Willis, with the kick. Not the little ones around the in-goal area. And this one straight into the arms of the North Sydney defence, going to the right of the ruck, just wanted to get it into the in-goal area. It's a poor kick, it was a pretty easy take for Ben Eichen. And then good support play from Florimo. Nigel Roy on the far side, takes the ball. You thought Pearson might have picked him up, but he's got a good turn of speed. When he dived all too late, don't forget all of this is happening, these North Sydney points, while they're down to 12 men. Well, the same thing happened uh, for West against Brisbane, didn't it? And they put a kick in, yeah. And yeah, Steve Georgialis on that occasion. That's right, and Kevy Wallace, I think, combined with Renoff to run away and score a try. And here it is now with Florimo, who is, of course, a, been playing mainly 
centre and five eighth all of his career. He had the toe to get into open spaces, and the Roy boys away and gets one for the Bears. Nigel Roy then scores second try of the night for the Bears. Third try of the match. He's had a really good season for the Bears, even though he's not in the starting lineup. He was at fullback for quite a deal at the start of the season with Matt Sears out with a broken arm. And every time he's come on, he's had an impact, Nigel Roy. Taylor, no mistakes. He might have missed the first one tonight, but he's been right on line since. This was the kick. That's Greg not... Florimo away. Weren't they nice hands from Eichen too? He's got beautiful hands on him. And, uh, somewhere down the track, Ben Eichen's going to make a, a great 5-8, no doubt about it. Well, I wonder whether the North Sydney Cronulla game will shell shock the Bears into not taking a field goal. They had a similar lead against Cronulla, went for the, the one point. All of a sudden, they just lost their way a little bit after establishing that seven-point break. Ken McGuinness has come off now for the Magpies, so the second of the brothers succumbing to injury. Taylor getting the pass away. Fairly did well. Did it float forward? The touchdown said no. Now. It was going to be the turnover because that went out on the full. Gee, that was very much a case of, I think, two forward passes back to back. Nigel Roy and then the kick off the boot of Ben Eichen went out on the full. So we come back to this situation. With, uh, Damian Kennedy tackle on his own 40 meter line. Billy Dunn is back from the blood bin. So, what was looking nice for the Magpies? A two point lead. They're down again by six. Leads. Timing in down the right side. He's got to come into that back line as much as possible, Andrew Leeds. They need him up there. Done. This is the last. Newton. Everybody on side. High kick. Plenty of time to chase. Oh, he got a bat down back for George Alice. Yeah, they got it back, but it went forward. Good kick by Newton, and he, he put the chase on him. Kept them going. And they're all on side. Then he went for the leap. But it goes forward off his hands. Down to Kennedy it was. Jalous lurking in behind the play, but here's the Bears now 15 meters away from their own line and That is Billy Moore 10 minutes of the second half gone Gary Larson And the Sinbin player is back. It's, not, it's in the form of Brenton Pomery they decided not to put Stewart back into the action uh, Good front rower there is Jason Taylor Pulls it down, doesn't pick up a lot of distance. Bouncing ball, difficult one for Andrew Lees. And he puts it up 22 out from his own line. And Siri Lang. Put away just outside his 30 metre line. Friday night we go to Canberra for Canberra versus Auckland. We might even take Blocker with us if he's thawed out. We'll freeze him a second time. So it's very dangerous to defrost meat and then freeze it again especially that size <laughs> That's right. as long as you don't hook me on a hook mate i'll be happy george Alice and newton lane mac then a cut out pass pearson brandon pearson coming back to the support darren willis 10 meters out from the line five tackles gone Pearson. They come on the blind side. Lang Mack and, and Siri Lang. Does he get it down? I think he might be going to give this. He's given it. It's a try to the Maggie. Well, I don't know. I've got my doubts. Anyway, but it's all down to Brandon Pearson. What a beautiful runner of the football he is. He hits the, the gap 
strong and hard, goes through, then he comes looking for support. He finds it out here, the North defence, it's scrambling, it gets back there, and they're always short down this side. The defence actually never got back on side. Langmack takes the chance. Okay, now here he goes on the outside, steps back inside Dallas. Does he get it down? It's a down away. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's a good try. Good and the run of Brandon Pearson was a great one because he came back at the angle. That's where him goes through, and the Siri Lang does a marvellous job here. Brett Dallas, one-on-one. -on -one. The Siri Lang, very strong. Gets the ball down, no problem at all. Yes, he does. Paul's sitting here saying he didn't ground the ball. There's a part of the ball on the ground. What are you talking about? Well, he got it down early and then... What well, he wanted to pull the bladder out and put the bladder on the ground as well. Have a look at the scoreboard, anyway. Yes. And Paul Langmack. Let go of that silver tail fibro thing. Let it go. Here they are, the black and whites from the sideline. 21 metres out. Leeds has got this. Oh, oh, it's hit the crossbar and failed to make the distance. Yeah, you pulled him up, Rats. Oh, I've put the hex on him. 52 minutes gone. The Bears by two. Fending and stop Kingston Town. Back at Campbelltown. And Taylor's restarts. Harvey Howard, he takes it up strong and hard. And Andrew Leeds had a chance to bring them level. Breeze with him. And look at this. I'd just like to say hello to our good mate Malcolm Johnson. Oh, the Kings in town. You and Ravi. Well, Billy Keto, one of the old magpies, who took ill last night in Sydney's Adventist Hospital, Bill, one of the great players and former secretary of the Maggies. Bill, if you're feeling a bit off colour, I bet you feel worse now. Anyway, we're thinking of you, old fellow, and good luck. Newton now. Sears. Matt Sears out to the 20. And the other good thing about Willie Newton's kicking game is every time he's put one down, he has scampered down as quickly as possible to make sure he puts everybody on side. How long before one of us calls him Nelson? What do you mean, Nelson Newton? We had Rod Stewart playing on the wing once for a little worry, didn't we? Good strong defence here from Western Suburbs, forced the mistake. The big back line set to the left for the Magpies. Means I'll go to the right and they'll just run the football themselves. But they pick up Willis from the scrum win. Andrew there. Across looking for the flat run. North read it well, Andrew Leeds plays it. Kennedy! Kennedy! Strong! George Alice! George Alice only a matter of a metre away! Willis, Newton, Langmack, cuts out, Pearson! Two metres from the line! This is Lakeman. Oh, not backwards. Newton. He tries to put a fend on Soden. Five tackles. And cut out the big front row up. Willis. And oh, Butner did well. This is Larson. Crowd, I think they feel that Butner knocked on. Yeah, they were calling for the knock on the crowd. That's a 20 metre line. They're crossing now. More Pomri. Be careful. That's, uh, is that McGuinness back on? Yeah, Kevin McGuinness is back on. And now one of the Bears. Yeah, they need a little bit of time just to reform here. Yeah, Brett Sydney. Dallas. Well, this doesn't look too well there. What happened, Block? 
Well, Harvey Howard has got him second man over the top with a high tackle. Watch this. Oh, yeah. Well, Brett Dallas has certainly taken a high shot from the front rower. And uh, he was very, very groggy. He still is. Remarkably, nothing has been said by anybody. I must say, I, I missed it on the first shot, so it's hard to be critical. But I wonder, will it be... Um, cited by the North Sydney Bears reported by them in the hours to come he's a player that they would need in the quarterfinals Howard Soden's kick and on the bring back is Leeds he goes back to go forward and across for Lang Lang pulled down by Billy Moore and Jason Taylor. They're keen, the Magpies, but they haven't got any space in their attack. You can put a handkerchief across them at the moment. They all want to take it up first man. Harvey Howard. George Alice has done the number nine's job well. Done. Two points the difference. North Sydney holding Langmatt and Lakeman leaves it. That's the moment where we're going to have a try against the run of play again for the Bears. Nigel Roy. Halfway line. Disappears. Josh Stewart puts the big fin up in the face of uh, Damian Kennedy. Taylor. Face pass, fairly. Taylor. Butner. Butner. Sears puts his foot down. They're going for the corner. And in goes Terawana. Chris Terawana scores. And the Bears stamp their authority to lead by six now. And that shows the potency of this North Sydney back line. Michael Butner finally deciding to run, taking on the defence. He takes it. He frees play there. You can see that he stepped back inside and a lot of width in between him and the inside. Some defensive player for Western Suburbs, that being Damien Kennedy. Matty Sears flying up on the outside. He had a choice. He could have gone wide to the winger. Instead, Caruana back on the inside. Too much pace for Newton to score wide out. I think he's one of the most improved players in the competition and the Optus Cup of 96, Michael Butner. So it's coming from power, he's really gained a lot more confidence. Got some good outside backs to work with, and that gives you confidence. Right, they'll finish team. off what you start. Matty Sears and Chris Caruana do exactly that. <laughs> what I really like about the North Sydney side is their coolness under pressure. Just that simple shot there we saw of Matt Sears summing up the situation. 22 out, just a metre in as you can see. There it comes, but it won't come back. But it's a six-point margin. They're in the comfort zone almost. And you know what they'll be doing next time they visit the Western Suburbs red zone. He's a good player, this kid. I keep wrapping him and... Uh, no reason to withdraw any of my comments. He's a, a versatile player. Wonderful utility player. Well, I guess that's counted against him in the past, Ray, is the fact that he, he can cover so many positions. We've seen him at hooker, lock forward. He really wants to establish himself in the centre, as the starting centre. Fairly. <laughs> 30 metres away from their own line now. That's Billy Moore refusing to go down. Quick play the ball. The backs chime in. Florimo is the carrier. Now the last. Soden. He kicks looking for Dallas and Caruana. The bounce important. And Darren Willis' speed helped him to get back and clean it up. 
Lang. 20 points to 40. There's some ordinary signs there for the West defence. In, in six tackles, the Bears went 90 metres with little or no resistance, so they're starting to tie the match, guys. Their great tonight went to the uh, North Sydney side. They won convincingly. As uh, the Magpies go over the sideline, this is going to give North another chance. Kevin McGuinness taking it across the sideline under the tackle of Nigel Roy. And now Greg Florimo is coming off and going back on. We're going on for the first time, in fact, I think, is it, Craig Wilson? Yes, it's his first start in this game, and he's taken the place of the man I think has been their best player. Well, Sydney, Greg Florimo. So much work, and they've needed somebody to come in and take the tough yards. He's done that as well, was involved in the, the link to the field try. What a great game for him tonight. Has he got a problem with uh, his wrist or arm? Greg Florimo, can we check that, Steve? Oh, good ball. Here they come again now. They're put down. Ball lost. Magpies with it. McGuinness. And it was Butner taking on the defence that caused the problem. Pass wasn't taken in the force of the tackle. Now Billy Dunn, centre field, driven sideways. They're working on Florimo's arm down on the bench. Don't tell me they've got a serious injury to one of their stars. Howard. I don't think it's too serious, Ray. They're just wrapping it up now with a bit of sticking plaster. All concerned. There's a problem. Newton losing the football. Penalty goes to the Magpies. 35 metres out from the line. The question is, did Willie Newton lose it or did it get some help? And they're going to kick for goal. Well, Newton takes them on. And it was helped on its way by Butte. Still, you know, it comes back to the ball security. Not much there. There's Florimo. I agree with Snorkel. He's been their best Florimo. He's taken it forward. He's done the hard yards. He's made plenty of tackles. Leads now. He has hooked it. But it's there. So Andrew brings it back by two. Taylor restarts as we welcome you back. Uh, wish I could hook it that well. An interesting replacement here from Western Suburbs, Paul Bell, coming into the, the fray for Harvey Howard. Back in for a front row forward with Bell on screen. Done. Billy Dunn brought down 35 out from his line. Monday night football is living up to its reputation of closeness. Close encounters of a Monday kind. Just keeps coming back. Newton's kick. Dallas turns around. Sears has touched it with a foot over the sideline. Now this is interesting because he in fact is out of the field of play. This is an interesting one. With a foot out, he's out. Or is he? No, his foot wasn't out when he touched it. Let me tell you what I'm trying to say. Had one of his feet been over the sideline and he touched the ball, it would be a North Sydney loose head and feed. As it is, he was in the field of play, and the Magpies, they get it. They've got a chance, the black and whites. Pearson is tackled. Eight metres out from the Bears' line. To the right, they stack it up. Kennedy. Kennedy burrowing for the line. Playing Max move to the left-hand side, the short line side. Looking to attack there once again, but they go wide through Newton and Willis. Willis bringing down a high pass. Gets his arms free. Newton slips over. Five metres out in front of the uprights, Georgianas for Lane Mack, infield for Pearson, he slams it down, it is a try, scored by Brandon Pearson, the Magpies have come back. And with the success of Andrew Leeds kicking the penalty goal moments ago, they can take the lead here, very soft from North Sydney, no intensity to get off their line. 
Paul Langback takes it to within three metres and then Brandon Pearson at speed really had no trouble getting through. They didn't rush out at all to meet the men. Well, let's give Pearson some credit. He's unstoppable close to the line like this. He's going to be a very good player in the years to come. He's a good player now. We'll only get better. What about the calmness of Paul Langmack, though? Just let them do their thing, let them do their thing, and then he said, right, I want it. Leads, he converts, high and handsome. They have the time to pull this one out. And the Bears aren't going to get too many better opportunities than the one they're with now. Penalty goes against the Magpies, two points the difference. Taylor's in the side. They opt to go away from Taylor and take the kick for line. Or was it a differential? Outside in the back line at the scrum, differential, Peter, thank you. Now, Florimo. 10 metres out. Another great opportunity for the Bears. Oh, good tackle by Andrew Willis. Ben Eichen slowly up. Soden. And away from Florimo. For Taylor. Nail. Now they've come out of the line. Matt Sears. Away it goes. Caruana for Dallas. Oh, they've stopped him. Inches from the line. Andrew Lee. Oh, yeah. Great defence by the Magpies. North went wide. There was plenty of room back on the inside, but they couldn't find it. Dallas, I thought he's going to come back inside, but he took the odds to it. And look at them, Lang, Clubber Lang has a go. The Magpies by two. The Bears, a lot of tackles required. Sears running off Soden, getting it back for Taylor. Taylor flicks it out the back. Wilson, 30 metres away from the line. Taylor, Florimo, Sears, 25 out. This is the last. Oh, oh they've given a penalty on the last. Well, you can't believe it. Tommy off the chair. Jason Elton can't believe it in the background. And Jason Taylor. Chance here to snatch maybe another draw for his side. It'll be three in the space of five weeks. That Sears did well to take that one. Andrew Willis trying to roll him onto his back. Pushed him over. Against all goal kickers. On the last tackle, 25 metres out. Taylor, leading point scorer, strikes it, keeps it low. The flags are up and the Bears are level. will probably come down to the team that makes the first mistake. If either of them, in fact, get a shot at goal. Don't forget Taylor. He will be tempted to take one from long range, but he is kicking into the breeze. The Magpie player to watch is probably Andrew Willis. And Andrew Leeds will be his backup. This is Wilson. Last tackle now for North. Taylor thinks about it. He takes the shot, but it's well short. Leeds now carries it back. 25 metres out from his own line. Well, swinging arm there too from Craig Wilson connected. Siri Lang out of dummy half, taken low by Caruana, over the top by Soden. One minute and 20 seconds on the clock. 22-22, Capavilla. Driven down, Georgianis. Langmack floating it across for Pearson. Well, we just heard from the sideline that Willie Newton has kicked two field goals in the last two weeks. I don't know whether he'll get close enough. It's a reserve grade, of course. Here he is taking the ball into the opponent's half on the last tackle. Well, that's the fifth tackle gone. 
Now Willis. Willis takes the shot. It's got the leap, has it? No, I think it fell under the crossbar. No, he's given it. He's given the point to Andrew Willis. So the Western Suburbs Magpies have grabbed, have grabbed success in the final seconds. The coach's box, the fans on the hill, and the kickoff hasn't gone 10. Penalty to the Western Suburbs side, centre of the ground. Uh, unbelievable. How often in this competition are we going to see close games with field goals featuring so prominently? It's over all right. Matt Sears telling the adjudicator in the Indial area, no, that's not that's not over. The Maggies know that's the case as Bell takes the last tack. There's the siren, it is all over. What a finish! What a thriller! 23-22 with Andrew Willis kicking a drop goal with 30 seconds to go from at least 40 metres out.